takes a minute to get on the network. Uh, we're now live. You can see the lights down there. Hopefully, yeah, you can. Uh, we're now live. We're pointed at the studio area. It took a second to get the camera online. It takes a second to, for it to fire up, get onto the network, connect to their cloud service to be available for the app. Now, one thing you should know, and I didn't like about the app, is that when I first went in, if this is offline, there was no easy way for it to refresh. Close the app, wait for it to connect, come back in, it shows up online. I couldn't find a way to get it to see that the camera was there, so just keep that in mind. It came right on as soon as I refreshed. So a couple screens to take a look at. There is a settings availability for the overall app itself, and there, of course, there's one for the camera. So you have a few options there. There's also one for feeds. Uh, there's a screenshot of that. Feeds let you see other people's feeds from sharing their net cams with you. And then the last one that you see is clips. This is available in your cloud service. You can go back and review clips that are there. So uh, one other thing is you notice on the screen itself, there is a firmware update for the camera. So they will automatically let you know that you can update the firmware on your camera to get uh, better performance and function and features out of them. So we're going to take a look at the camera. Now, interestingly enough, if we go back, the home screen is straight basically up and down. You can't turn it into landscape mode. You can only have it in portrait mode, not landscape mode. As you see, it doesn't, it doesn't turn. But as soon as you click the camera, it jumps to that mode. It's really weird, and it doesn't work in portrait mode. So they, I don't, I wish I could lock it more where they make it smaller. Uh, as you can see, we've got a picture up <laughs> of part of the studio, part of the green screens and everything else that's in there. And what I'm able to do with this then is from the actual screen that I have up for you to look at now, I can take a snapshot of what's going on at the time, which is nice. It saves the snapshot. I can record. I can turn on the audio. Now, the problem is we'll get some feedback if I keep the audio on. But I should be able then, if I turn this up, to hear the audio coming back through the camera. So that's on the other side, pointing back to us. Let me turn it down. That's obnoxious, isn't it? And then I can talk to it. Hello? Oh, you have to turn on audio for it to work. So I have to click the audio button at the bottom for it to let me speak out from the microphone. We'll try that one more time. Hello? You gotta hold it down longer, apparently. Hello? Is this working? So, let me turn that off before it gets really obnoxious for all of us. So now as you can see, you can talk both ways. The speaker's not the best quality in the world, but it allows you to talk to it. Uh, you can get some information that's on the camera. You can see that it's we're on a local network. It'll tell you if you're on the internet side. You can get the audio information, the frames, the quality. All that type of information is available underneath the info tab that's up in the corner. Now, last piece is we should turn this into night vision mode and test that. So give one second. We're going to jump over and turn it night vision mode. So I went ahead and we'll bring up a screenshot. I put it in one of the darkest places you could possibly go just to let you know how low the light is. I shoved it in a cabinet under one of the sinks. Uh, I wanted to show you so there's barely any light that gets in because it's, I closed the door to the actual bathroom it's in, which then I closed the door to the cabinet that it's in to let you know that for low light, I mean, there was a trickle in there. I knew there would be, but it's, it does a really decent job of letting you know how, how deep it can go inside of here. Great frame rates, uh, great capabilities. So imagine this at night, even with a little bit of dim light, somewhere you want to watch or somewhere you want to see. So let's jump over and have a final review of what we think of the whole product. So we've walked through the night vision, we've walked through the day vision, we've walked through the audio, we've looked at the application itself. I mentioned the integration with Wemo. So Wemo is Belkin's automated system. You can take this camera and have it do some things on its own, like from the web interface, you can configure it when there's large motion to capture a snapshot or record some video. You can set the sensitivity levels. You can make it work with the Wemo system. So when there's triggered a motion detector, the camera comes to do work. All that stuff integrates together. A whole separate video for that, but you should be aware that that's there. Otherwise, uh, Love the camera, love the weight, like that it's mountable. You can screw this little piece off, but I wish I could pop this piece off a little easier because uh, it's already mounted on there because maybe I want to hide this behind a picture frame or I want to hide this somewhere else. Keep in mind, you do have to have range for the power to make this work. Uh, from there, uh, worked pretty flawlessly. I wish the app was a little more consistent with the way you had to turn it different ways to do different things, but it seemed to function fine. The web interface, you have to maybe load a plug-in or something for your browser to get it to work, but it was easy to work with and configure. So overall, Belkin, thanks very much for sending over the Netcam HD Plus with night vision, the new uh, wider range angle, audio both ways, everything you pretty much want as another option for some home security work and also some home automation. Please subscribe to the product review playlist that we have. Click the like button below. There Click it the is. Even if you're not buying, let them know that you appreciate our reviews. And otherwise, thanks again for watching. All right. We're ready.